Palm Beach, Florida. We've deployed a number of resources, including the investigative teams, crisis response team members, bomb technicians, and evidence response team members as well. What we need right now is for the public to avoid the area around the golf course. We will continue to support this investigation with the full resources of the FBI, alongside our partners with the United States Secret Service and the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office, as well as Martin County Sheriff's Office and state and local law enforcement. I would ask that if anyone has any information that may assist with this investigation, to contact our tip line at 1-800-CALL-FBI or at tips, that's T-I-P-S dot F-B-I dot gov. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dave Ehrenberg, State Attorney for Palm Beach County. I want to thank Sheriff Bradshaw and our partners at the local, state, and federal levels. Uh, I'm here because our prosecutors are currently working up warrants and a motion for pretrial detention for the suspect. Uh, in that way, he will be kept in custody. But our filing of these warrants and charges at the state level does not preclude federal charges that could be coming. But in the meantime, it looks like the, uh, the warrants and the pretrial detention motion will happen first. And again, I want to thank the cooperation we've had with our federal partners and at the local level. And uh, thank you all for being here today. Okay, we're going to make these pictures available to you. It'll show you a picture of the backpack and the rifle. And there's also a GoPro on the fence there where he was uh, intent on uh, filming what was going on. Even though we're going to have to secure a couple of areas around the, the golf course here, the public doesn't need to panic. We know that we got a post office, a library, and a school down the street. So we'll make it convenient for you to get to all the places you need to go, get your kids to school, get them over here to the post office or wherever else you need to go. It's safe. There's no more danger here, and we'll make it very convenient for you. So having said that, we're going to take a very limited amount of questions, and you can direct them to who you want to answer the question. Sure. did this individual make any statement that he was being detained? No statement right now as far as his involvement in the incident and uh, the further investigation to be completed. What was his demeanor? That is correct, yes. And the new president, or the former president, was on the course behind him. How close? It was one or two holes behind. 100%. That Because the bubble moves across, uh, through the uh, golf course, so our agents will get there first, clear it. He noticed that the rifle was pointed out, our agents engaged. Uh, we are not sure right now if the individual was able to take a shot at our agents. Uh, but for sure, our agents were able to uh, to engage with the uh, with the subject. I, I I don't know that. Doesn't appear so. Is there a moment? Yep. Al. How far away was the rifle from the person that was shot? Was it like ten feet? How far away was the president? How far away was Donald Trump when this gentleman was caught and stopped? I got it. Probably between three and five hundred yards, but with a rifle and a scope like that, that's not a long distance. Uh, how far was your agent from the would-be assailant? That I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure right now. That's we're still looking into. Reports are the four rounds of ammunition were fired. Were all four of them from your agent? That is correct. Four to six. We're not sure yet. Was there a long distance? Can you explain why? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Say that one more time and talk up a little bit. Um, so, how was this able to happen? And for future reference, is there any up security at a golf course? Well, you got to understand the golf course is surrounded by shrubbery. So, so, when somebody gets into the shrubbery, they're pretty much out of sight. All right? And at this level that he is at right now, he's not the sitting president. If he was, we would have had this entire golf course around it. But because he's not, the security is limited to the areas that the Secret Service 
deems possible. So I would imagine that the next time he comes at a golf course, there'll probably be a little bit more people around the perimeter. But the Secret Service did exactly what they should have done. They provided exactly what the protection should have been, and their agent did a fantastic job. Which direction was the shrubbery where he was? North, south, <coughs> The layout of the golf course, you've got three holes, five, six, and seven, right? One of them runs parallel to Summit Boulevard. One of them runs parallel to Congress. And he was in an area in the, shrub in the uh, shrubbery where he could see both holes. So the president was another hole back, which means he's about between four and 500 yards away. So he's on the golf course? Oh, he's on the golf course, yeah, but he's back a ways. For the Secret Service, have you guys changed at all the way that you guys are protecting former President Donald Trump is now second, potential second attempt on him? Can you just elaborate on how things have changed and what you make of all this? Yes, the, the threat level is high. Uh, we have increased the, uh, the amount of assets that we've supported. So we are, um, we live in danger time. So, yes. The, uh, we're, nope, we're done with questions right now. There's really nothing more for us to add. I just want to tell you, the Secret Service and the FBI and the State Attorney's Office have been fantastic to work with. And I can tell you right now, our agency with this real-time crime center was fabulous. That's how we got the guy. We started out with, we don't know anything, to where we had a tag, we had a vehicle description, and we got an area where we saw the person. So be proud, be proud of your law enforcement. All right. Thanks, folks. We'll get back to you.